Okay, so uh, with me is Joel Edelstein. He's um, somebody who helped me with uh, the design of the case of Fluffy 2. And let's just start by introducing him. So, Joel. Hi. Um, I, uh, I work for a New York-based digital cinema engineering startup uh, called FrameLogic Digital as the R&D lead. And... Um, Basically, uh, we're an imaging company. We have a broad interest in imaging tools, and uh, this monitor uh, is a pretty exciting project uh, for us since ultimately the monitor is the front end to your entire imaging system. Yeah, so uh, basically Joel is, is pretty good at mechanical design, and that's why he, well, I could say I asked him, but he kind of... Volunteered to do the uh, <laughs> most of the the actual case design. I helped him uh, with the um, like the the decision making, but he did most of the work. So why does the monitor actually look the way it does? Well, from the beginning, we had a sense that we wanted an industrial look to it, um, and everything kind of grew out of that. We had a few constraints on the design process, primarily. The monitor is designed uh, to be made from laser-cut aluminum and a few 3D printed parts that are pretty small. So uh, it was primarily a 2D design process. And that meant that it sort of was built layer by layer, front to back. And once we put in the monitor panel and the mini ITX box, everything else kind of grew around that. Right now I'm looking at the front, and the front is kind of the least populated area. So we, we can just look at what we can see here. So at the bottom right, there's the front panel area. And in the drawing, it's it's just a solid piece of aluminum. But actually, uh, here we're going to have uh, the buttons, which is just going to be a very simple on-off button and a backlight up and down button. And there's also going to be two USB ports um, pointing down. You can actually see them from here. It's a very simple but industrial rugged look uh, from the front. And related to the industrial look is these uh, handles. Can you tell a bit more about that? Sure. Um, yeah, we put in some relatively bold handles on the sides uh, so that you, uh, well, particularly this is a passively cool design, so we didn't want people having to grope around on the back of the monitor uh, when there's potentially, uh, shall we say, warm heat sinks. <laughs> um, and uh, the handles actually sort of also fit into the general design of these. Uh, we have these uh, hex nuts going around the outside. I'm sorry, um, hex screws. And uh, the handles just sort of fit into that general aesthetic of being sort of a uh, an industrial sort of heavy-duty look. Yeah, so, so I've uh, rotated the model to the back, and uh, here we see the, um, the actual back cover. I've highlighted it, and it's uh, it's got a visa mount, like a standard 75 and 100 millimeter uh, visa mount. And if I just remove this object, um, we can see the internals. And uh, can you tell me a bit more about the orientation of the motherboard? Sure. Um, yeah, we've actually faced the motherboard inwards towards the back of the monitor. Um, and that's because the, the back of this um, monitor is dominated by a passing, passive cooling setup. And uh, the CPU is actually doing all of its cooling through these uh, this heat sink uh, and these fins on the back uh, that are in red. And we, um, we wanted to make it as easy as possible to mount the motherboard to the monitor. So essentially the monitor is one large piece with the heat sink uh, mounted on the back, and the motherboard can just be mounted onto that. Yeah, so the idea of this this entire uh, assembly is that the monitor um, can be assembled completely independently of the motherboard itself. So you have this big assembly with the heatsink already in place and uh, a couple of standoffs, and you just put the, monitor, uh, the uh, motherboard uh, on top of that, facing down, and that's it. That's your entire installation. Um, yeah, and so this... <laughs> This uh, kind of ties into the next question, which is uh, how everything is uh, held together structurally. Uh, yeah, the, the the entire design it's not super heavyweight. It's it's a couple of kilograms, but still, uh, it's made out of all these these sheets of 
of aluminum and how did you actually get it to be structurally sound? So we, even though the, the case is made out of relatively thin pieces of aluminum, we took a few approaches to trying to make sure that it was uh, quite rigid. We, um, we took a puzzle box approach to the uh, mini ITX enclosure on the back. So that gives you uh, quite a bit of rigidity there. Uh, we also layered some sections of uh, relatively thin uh, aluminum at the top of the mini ITX enclosure. Um, and also took a puzzle box approach on the bezel, sh um, bezel shim uh, around the sides of the uh, bezel. So uh, between that and adding uh, high strength uh, steel screws around the edges of the bezel, um, the, uh, the case is uh, quite rigid. Yeah, so right now I've got one of those uh, bezel side parts hi highlighted. And here in the top, um, you can see, I'll, I'll try to uh, zoom in. You can see that this uh, fits together like a, like a puzzle piece. And here, uh, the same thing happens, happens again. So this, this shim here, it uh, interfaces this, this side piece of the mini ITX enclosure in a, in a puzzle piece like uh, idea. All right. Uh, so one thing that is missing, and you can see two uh, artifacts of that, uh, is the battery. Uh, I told earlier in my in my blogs that there are, is going to be uh, a battery involved, and it's actually going to sit here on the side. Uh, very uh, very it, uh, very narrow battery, very long and narrow battery. And the contacts are going to go in here. And this here is the uh, UPS and management board, uh, which is going to do all the uh, power control uh, to and from the battery. And this board here, uh, you saw before, is the LVDS adapter board. It interfaces the motherboard and the screen and uh, controls the screen not via uh, VGA or HDMI or DVI, uh, but directly uh, via LVDS, which also translates in uh, quite a lot of power savings. So <laughs> that's uh, very nice. Um, so I think we touched on all the questions we had. Do you have anything to uh, to add to the uh, design? Um, not really. I mean, I think, you know, what we ended up with here is definitely something that, um, that was... Uh, form uh, following function, but at the same time, I think uh, in the end, we got something that, that is moderately pleasing to look at, okay. uh, although quite industrial. Yeah. All right, so uh, I can't thank you enough for uh, for doing this design. It's uh, I think it looks awesome. It, uh <laughs> I really like it. And uh, it was great working with you, of course. Uh, we work uh, with each other on more than just this project. Always a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. So thanks uh, for joining me in the uh, talk, and uh, see you later. Yeah.